Uh, so Michael Irvin was on uh, Undisputed, and um, he pretty much called out his he exposed his son because his son um, he, he's a trap he's a trap rapper and shit. But Michael Irvin was pretty much like, yo, just not. That ain't your life, nigga. How many people are like that? I was about to say. 90% of the industry. That's so let me see if I... How many people are like that? Nobody cares. Let me pull it up. Nigga, is the music good? All right. <laughs> but you know, some of them... His rap be... name is Tut Tarantino. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm like, oh my God. Where does hey. this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life, but he's rapping my life because we romanticize and fantasize about that old thug life, ghetto life, and all of that stuff. When, when, when I got a son. I mean, he, he, he raps. That's just that. I mean, so many people like that, though. Yeah. Have an industry like that. But I, I feel like, so some people were saying he was wrong. I, 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 I fuck with him for it. I mean, first of all, if you know that that's Michael Irvin's son, you already know that that nigga didn't grow up hard. Hmm. Yeah. So you why grew up is in it the gated community? We know this though. It's not like it's hidden facts. Everybody want to be Tariq, man. It ain't like like we found out that Twenty One Savage was British. Like that was a fucking surprise. Hmm. Nobody, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucking knew that. Was <laughs> hey, but then it was like, is this nigga really like? Is this nigga really Atlanta? <laughs> like, is he really like that, or is he British? Like, hey, no, we. <laughs> I, I know some I, British gangsters. Like, I was gonna like, say like, like I, know some British I was gonna say that that, that shit don't coincide mm. with because there's niggas in the UK. Yeah, yeah, them niggas definitely get go, busy. Definitely <laughs> go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but it's a difference. You know? UK yeah. busy is not Atlanta busy. It's a difference. True. Yeah. The craziest shit is I think UK busy might be worse because them Depends niggas stab you. you. Depending on what part you go to. Nah. What Stab I'm, is a what, bad what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because I mean, there's gunplay everywhere. It's even a knife. like, but it's not. It's a knife. That, it's a and knife. that explains why the <laughs> fuck he got the knife, knife on it. All that shit, though. But, like, them UK niggas, like, you know how much you really got to dislike a motherfucker to stab him? Mm. I mean, unless yeah. y'all scuffling and you pull the blade out, like, on some heat of the moment shit, though. But, like, these niggas playing the stabbings. Man, well, we all knew his son wasn't yeah. like that. But, I mean, I yeah. feel like, yo, I think more parents should do that shit. Why? Why not? Well, I stopped their money. First of all, you ain't about to fucking play I mean, with me and I make sure you had a good motherfucking life. And here you talking about you had it hard. Bitch, you know what I had to go through? I'm going to fuck that's you the, up. That's the shit. Perception. I'm going to fuck you up. I you am don't not know, that. That's not what money. Up. If you grew up in a gated community, first obviously world, money is not called this. first world problems. You don't have them, so you don't understand. I don't have them either. But what the fuck you would see me in the street like, oh, you the one who, you, you the shitty ass you mama. You don't, like, you don't yo, know what it's yo. like to live in a gated community. And all your friends got I wish brand I new did. Porsches for their no, birthdays, and you got. But the crazy, the crazy shit is, every you know street, every nigga who's really in the streets and really from the streets, and like even the rap niggas that actually grew up in the streets, they say the all say the same shit. Like nigga, I wish that was the life I had. I, <sighs> if I was born rich, I would rhyme about it. Because the money, money music is the shit that makes shit go around anyway. When you in the club and all that shit, or in the strip club, money music is what it is. So, yeah. like, nigga, you can just rap about being a rich nigga. Who so gives a things. fuck? Yeah. Why you want to rap about street shit, though? I feel like this is an age-old conversation. Because you can still, but this is not an age-old scenario, though. This, like, most more, a lot of parents ain't did this shit yet. But, like, it's, it's what, one thing to, like. What does him doing it do? Like, what does it help? What does it destroy? Does it destroy his son's rap career? Probably not. Probably. It might. Yeah, I don't think he really had much of a rap career. That was my point. That was my point. <laughs> so, because I mean, I listened to like one of the songs. Like, and, did like, you have this conversation with your son? Or did you just probably? Have I feel like he, he did. probably was he fed up. He probably was fed up with. I don't, think he, I don't think he did. He probably was fed up with this. Because I just put my hands but on then my again, son. But then again, <laughs> Michael Irvin is kind of an older dude, so a lot of them. Yeah, he ain't going to social media. So first. I don't obviously I don't know Michael Irvin, but like a lot of people in his age bracket don't really feel like no. I'm having conversations with my kid. Like, now I owe you no conversation. Exactly. So, so I feel like you just went there to the public, which is, I mean, I get it. I love that energy, though. Yeah, I mean, I mean and, and if you just, really bought that shit, this your pops. Just don't think, what? I mean, <laughs> if you, bo- he bo- called bo- you a fraud, right? Boosie got a whole diss on against his daughter. So That's what I'm saying. If, if, we outside with the if, if you really, numbers. If you really bought that shit, Tut, uh, and, and your pops got them. Don't listen to him. Do, him. do not get cut off from the family money. That is dumb as hell. Nah, he gonna get money off this rap shit. Do not get cut off from the family money. It is dumb as hell. He gonna dumb get, as hell. He gonna get money off this rap shit, man. He gonna blow up. Okay. 
The streets gonna fuck with this nigga. Get money off this rap shit. Just do not dish your daddy. No, but the the flip side of this shit though, the shit that's dangerous about niggas like that is a suburban nigga with money is actually dangerous. Cause they can get you hit. True. They got enough. They they money long enough to get niggas sent the fuck away, sent to you. <laughs> Come see about this. So like, that's that's one side of the shit though. It's like I uh, I don't really gotta be gangster, but I got a hundred niggas that's on my payroll. That is. And they grew up like in the hood right outside of my gated community. <laughs> Cause I mean, you know, you probably meet a lot of these niggas at school. I mean, he probably didn't. He probably went to a private joint. I'm not sure. I don't know the whole backstory, but Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like him coming out and saying that shit was so pointless. Cause we knew. First of all, we didn't even know your son rapped. And it looked from the looks of what I saw, it's probably trash. That's the first that's the first thing. We didn't even know he rapped. So all you're doing is giving him publicity. And and, and it, honestly, it that might have been what that's the fuck what I was going to say. It might have been that. Like, oh, that makes more sense. Because nobody knows your son fucking raps. And he can also flip it like, yo, nigga, you was on the road like most of the year. You don't know, know what the fuck, the fuck I, I had going on. 16, 16 <laughs> weeks out the year plus training camp, nigga. I was yeah. outside trapping. You don't know what the fuck I had going on. I bought on. bricks with your money, nigga. Yeah. You won't there, nigga. Like, I ain't. That's what I'd have did. You better bet it. I definitely have bought bricks with my parents. Man. I ain't going to front, though. What I, do you mean? I, would, I ain't going to lie. I would have probably been that fuck up. Rich kid, I mean, it's not a fuck up rich kid. I'm starting you know what I'm my saying? own I business. Was, and they, in the eyes of the parents and shit, oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you were, fucked if, up. Oh, if yeah. your parents is millionaires but, and you trapping, uh, but and all these people, eye, but they all these people in this gated community do coke, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say they all powder. Like, yo, I made, I made your football contract. <laughs> I made it <laughs> off your neighbors. I made it <laughs> this year. I made Dad, that shit off your neighbors. It. What's up? Selling powder out of high school. Yeah. So Tariq and them did it right. And what happened? I Good think show. I think Michael Irvin went and went and knocked on some doors like you bought coke from my son. Yeah, I would hope not though. But I don't know, man. I th- I thought this shit was funny though. 